Oh, hey. I was just reading Let's Ride the Sonny Barger's Guide to Motorcycling, How to Ride the Right Way for Life by Mr. Sonny Barger. It's an informative and fascinating read. Um, uh, truly, it's actually a lot of fun. Pick it up, read it. Um, <laughs> I will never have a career as a, as a uh, uh, infomercial pitchman. Um, what are we doing? Uh, we're doing What the Fuck Sutter, number 13. Um, here's our first question. Hey, man. My name is Ernie. Just wanted to ask if you had any offers or ideas on an SOA video game. A game like Grand Theft Auto with SOA characters and storyline would be awesome. Thanks. Take care. Thanks, Ernie. Uh, Pretty much, uh, Grand Theft Auto already ripped us off, pretty much. Uh, uh, I, I, uh, I interpreted it as, a, uh, as an homage myself. But, um, uh, yeah, you know what? Uh, here's the deal. I, I do think uh, I would love to do a video game. I'm a gamer. And, and uh, uh, you know, uh, but it, as easy, it would seem like an easy process and kind of a slam dunk. But um, you know, getting these things off the ground sometimes are very difficult to do, uh, and I'm not quite sure why. If it's just the manpower that it requires, um, I know there's a whole bunch of, of licensing issues that come into play. You know, we started talking about it a little bit. Uh, uh, Eric Schreier, who's one of uh, our executives at FX, um, began the conversation with him. Uh, about a year ago, and uh, you know, um, it's just uh, it's just something that doesn't happen very quickly. I, I I hope to be able to pursue it and to follow up, um, and uh, you know, and find a uh, uh, find a production house and a, and a um, and a and a company, you know, uh, like a, you know, an Activision or an uh, EA or somebody who would uh, be interested in doing or or Rockstar, man. You know, I mean, I'd love to work with those guys. Uh, and, and do something, but I think you're right. I think to have a sort of um, action uh, role-playing um, uh, uh, based game would uh, would be kind of awesome, and uh, uh, you know, and, and have these guys on bikes. So uh, the plan is, I, I still hope to pursue it. Um, you know, we uh, we tried to do it on the shield, and it it ended up in probably the worst video game <laughs> ever created. Uh, so hopefully, you know, the truth is if we can't do it the right way, I don't want to, I don't want to do it at all. But, uh, uh, I, I really do, uh, I really do think the world, uh, lends itself to it and, and, uh, we're still going to try to, uh, follow up and, uh, and do something. Uh, let's do one more question because I'm feeling giddy and generous. Um, eh, it's a stupid question. Uh, let's go to a lady. A lady. Uh, uh, here, here's a TIG question. And, and, and she just titles it TIG. Dear Kurt, I gotta say, I hearts me some TIG. Coates, who portrays him, is spectacular. I look at TIG and I think to myself, self? Uh, that guy, who the fuck is he? Laugh out loud. That being said, here's my question. Do I really want to know, I really want to know what's the deal with Tig, Missy, and Kozik? Uh, um, and, uh, there's more, but I'm not going to read it. Uh, it's the, the dog thing. You know, I will say, um, you know, we created the storyline in Charming last year between Tig and, and, uh, Kozik, uh, Kim, and uh, uh, Kenny Johnson's character, and uh, um, it was one of those things where I created this dynamic, and I was writing it, and I didn't quite know where it was going, and I think it, it was um, one of my writers, Chris Collins, who uh, pitched the idea that Missy was ultimately uh, a, a German Shepherd, and, uh, and I fucking loved that idea, and just because it's very true to the world, like, I know a lot of these guys, and, and quite, <laughs> quite honestly, you know... They love their dog more than most members of their family, and uh, uh, and uh, um, so uh, I thought it was very real. And uh, um, you know, I, my sense is that 
and we played it out a little bit in story without getting into too much exposition. Uh, but that you know that they that it was it was uh, it was Tig's dog, and when Kozik was a member of of, of Redwood Original or, or originally before he left, that you know he somehow was responsible for Tig's dog um, Missy. Um, you know uh, either he was um, uh, um, taking care of it, or he was the one that that ultimately got it killed. But that he was responsible for. Um, for for Missy, but I think it's the kind of thing where Missy was sort of uh, not just Tig's dog, but almost like a club dog, and uh, so all the guys were sort of attached to uh, to uh, to her, um, and that uh, you know that they both loved the dog, and that they both felt as bad uh, um, when uh, when she was killed. So um, uh, that's sort of it. Uh, uh, I never I never meant to suggest that Tig had some sort of bestiality thing going on and that his love for Missy crossed the line into his love for, you know, pretty much most other things. So, uh, so that's it. Um, uh, I think we're going to keep doing this. Uh, I haven't really checked, so I don't know if anybody's watching these. I think people are. Um, but uh, I'll keep doing them because, you know, I'm a whore. So, uh, See you next time.